a junior from Rockland, transfer from Sacramento City College in the California State Capitol, takes ball one from Dixon. Trailing his teammate Carter Graham, who's on deck, and on four pitches, Stanford has a base run. And Carter Graham draws a walk in Stanford, has two on, but nobody out, and there's a high chop to third. Deep there is Bullard, throws across to first, and Arizona gets it out. The runners advance. Brock Jones to third. Montgomery in the air to left, going back. Chase Davis drifting back to the wall, reaches up, makes the catch, bumps into the fence. Brock Jones tags and scores a long ride the other way to the wall. A nice catch by Davis, who is still feeling the effects of that. It does not look good when he sits down like that. I can't tell if it's his receiving. Nah, see, it's his throwing arm that hits it first. He's able to throw it back in. Huff in the air to center. Mac Bingham, plenty of room where it's 430 feet to dead center. Makes the catch shy of the track. And Susak is able to minimize the damage. They are hot. Every time I've seen them, they just figure it out at the end of the season. Ground ball, past the mound, past the diving shortstop, Adam Crampton. And the first base runner for Arizona, Garen Caulfield, continues to swing a good bat at this Pac-12 tournament. And a two-out base runner in the first hit of this ball game. There's a weak ground at a second. Brett Barrera up with it. And the Wildcats are gone here in the second. For achievers. <laughs> Mac Bingham off the end of the bat, and he drops that one into left center field and a one out base runner. For Arizona, first hit, rather second hit for the Wildcats. Actison, we're, we're, we're trying to make sure that we can compete and, and be ready to play. There's a ball, and it goes out to right center and a break for Arizona around third. Mac Bingham coming around, he stops. He fell. He, now second and third with one out. A really good game, and they were ready for it. So it was good to see that they were able to be ready for that. Daniel Susak pokes one into right field. Coming in is Nick McClary, or rather goes to third, as Mac Bingham ties the game. 1-1 one, one on the RBI single from Susak going the other way. As David Esker with us from the Stanford dugout. And you guys haven't been much luck for, uh, for us no. so far. Usually I do bring yeah, you, you luck, do. David. We've had some good innings, and I'm always, I always try to read the <laughs> inning once I get the mic on, and I'm like, is it going to be a smooth one, or are they going to no, score Dave, some runs? Dave, we are over. We are over. We've just been lousy for all the teams every time we get you guys that, on. That's not true. Time. On a roll, and won nine in a row, and they were, and were ten or two before, while it was, before it was over. And, uh, you know, so, so you have to stay with it. What, my message to them was, hey, you got to stay with it. You don't know when it's going to turn, and you just got to keep working to turn it. Uh, one in five seemed a little steep at that point. Uh, and so it was, it was really, and, you know, the message you sent, it was a little cliche, but we just want to win one game as often as we can. Just win one game over key to turning us around. Well, pitch gives Arizona the lead. Now Dixon hits Tanner Otremba. And Arizona's got two on here with one out. I'm, 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 I'm happy he's going there. And there's strike three as Dixon gets out of it. David, always appreciate it. And he takes ball four. He walks for a second time. That is the fourth issued by Anthony Susak. There he goes. Susak throws down a second and a steal. So Brock Jones races into scoring position. The first of the back-to-back. National titles for Stanford is Graham in the air. Deep left center field. Matt Bingham looking up, and it is gone. Carter Graham, the Pac-12 home run leader. First hit for the Cardinal, and Stanford reclaims the lead. Just, you know what's great about that at bat for him is that he got down behind in the count, two strikes, shortens his swing a little bit, and look what happens with a shorter swing. I mean, this is just, it's not a great pitch, the ball's up, but because you're in that little bit of a two-strike approach, he's even off the end of that bat about an inch. They're gonna get their home runs. 20th home run, and Carter Graham with his first hit in this Pac-12 tournament, and Stanford goes back in front of Arizona. Never tried it. Never tried it. 
Brett Pereira the other way, slicing toward the right field corner, a long run, and Tanner Otremba makes a nice jumping catch. As if he was trying to be the Jordan logo right there, the way he went after it. If he's here, join the team. Cody Huff in the air to right, Tanner Otremba casually makes that catch. No jump man needed that time. <laughs> Anywhere and have games, I mean, that's where you wanted to go. Garrett Caulfield is hit by Joey Dixon, and Arizona has a leadoff base runner. 3-2 to Turley. Runner goes, ball four. And a frustrated. Tony used an extremely small bat. In the air to right, over toward the line, Montgomery with a cannon for an arm, and that's why you see the tag and the bluff. How about that throw? Oh, great that throw. Throw. <laughs> he was looking like John Elway right there. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Dixon trying to wiggle out of it. And it's ball four, they're loaded. Look at that bat. Really move. Oh. Strike three call. Dixon gets the punch out and leaves him loaded. And you said he can get animated. You think he's pumped up? Careful because um, the launch angles. Oh, oh my goodness. Play. What a play. Tony, my goodness. Tony Bullard. Wow. wow. Highlight reel. Wow. Web gem over there at the hot corner. My goodness. That saved maybe three bases. Woo. Um, yeah, you know what? That's a great one, Kevin. I, I, <laughs> you have to be very cognizant of who you are as a hitter. And, and, and you know that. You're just like you were one type of hitter. Mickey Morandini yep. was one type of hitter, right? Yep. Um, Scott Rowland was a different one, you know, on all that stuff. Speaking of ideas as a player, oh. Eddie Park rolls one past Bullard. Down the left field line, cut off over there by Tyler oh, Casagrande. Digging for two is Park. The throw just got in there. And all right, Chip, you may have to get to work here. Nick. <laughs> Yeah, hey, look at that. You got huh? the strikeout. Hey, Chip. I think that's the first time we've talked and yeah. uh, we didn't give up a run. <laughs> Ten home runs. Look at all those runs scored. High chop to first. Playing deep, Turley. Hustle. Underhands, tough, close play. Save Jones. Bang, bang at first. Why Islanders oh, yeah. played at Aloha Stadium. Chopper at third. Tony Bullard. Deep throws it, airmails it to first. Turley goes to chase it down. Brock Jones goes around to third, and at second base is Barrera. Would probably be a hit and an error for the Stanford second baseman. 3 2 to Montgomery. Breaking ball, hitting the right field the other way. Took advantage of the hole. A run is in around third. Brett Barrera will slam on the brakes and go back. RBI single Montgomery has driven in two today, and a 4 2 lead for Stanford. Yeah, so I, I, something's going, I think he's gassed out there right now. He's starting to look in, he's shaking his arm. I think that might be it. I think here comes Chip. Yep. Yeah, and he's done. I mean, he's just, you can see it, the way that he's acting out there. He did all right, though. I mean, he threw okay. Oh. And that one's way inside, and a wild pitch. It missed Bowser. And it's ball four, heading down to second is Montgomery, and the bases are loaded for Stanford. Bouncer to the right side, backing up at second, flag down. Garrett Cuffield throws, close play out at first base. Fun for the guys. Liner from Adam Crampton to center. Mac Bingham slides and he caught it. Waiting for a signal, we got it from Angel Campos, the second base umpire. And Mac Bingham making that sliding catch and David Esker check in with Andre Mercurio's first base coach to make sure that he felt the ball was caught, and that is a brilliant catch by Bingham. Lubbock. Bowser in the air to right, backing up Otrepa. Yeah. Warning track, and it's off the top of the wall. Drew Bowser into second base and narrowly missed another home run. What a good effort by Otrepa out there. I thought he had a... Liner to center off the bat of Tommy Troy. Bowser hustling around third. Mac Bingham comes up firing into second base. RBI. It's Drew Bowser scores anyways. Cardinal up 5-2 now in the eighth. Yeah, as he gets a read here, here he goes. See how fast he is? He can run a little bit. I have a feeling that somebody might address that with him. Runner goes. Throw down a second from Susak. Got him. Daniel Susak throw on the money and Tommy Troy 
gunned down trying to steal. Eddie Park lifts this one. Shallow left. Tyler Casagrande coming in. That guy. Casually was walking and he tried to barehand and it just popped out of his hand. Nick McClary handles that. A run for Stanford, the bottom of the eight. There's a liner up the middle. The Wildcats have a start in the ninth. Noah Turley, a leadoff single. It's a ground out for the Wildcats DH. And that's a wild pitch from Matthews, his second. And Noah Turley goes down to second, which takes the double play out of the equation now. And on deck, Mac Bingham is the tying run. Liner over third, fair ball, into the corner. Noah Turley is in. Eddie Park fires the ball in to second base, but nobody's there, missed the cutoff man, and going to third is Splain. I have no idea. By Barrera, the second baseman, is going over and getting involved in this relay. There is no reason for him to be over there at this point. It's a double, but it's not a triple. So there's no reason for the second baseman to go. So therefore, he vacates second base. There's nobody there, even though your first baseman, Graham, is trying to get there. And he's supposed to go back, but I don't quite understand that. Nice hit, though. There you go. That's what you want. Nobody out. Runner on third. RBI double for Splain. In the air to left, Eddie Park drifting back, has room. And he steps onto the track, makes the catch, tagging Tommy Splane in. And we have a one run game with one out in the ninth. Reaching for it off the side of the mound and through into left center. And the tying run is on for Arizona. Second hit for Daniel Susak. Ali Berte running at first, and now a block. Oh, oh, and the tying run is in scoring position for the Wildcats. They're going to put him on. Yep, yeah, that's that's a smart move there. Tyler Casagrande, a left-handed batter. Now the throw to second. Splain kept going, went to third as Casagrande skies it. Drew Bowser should have a play. Foul ground. Ball game and Stanford has advanced to the Pac-12 Tournament Championship game as Quinn Matthews walks the tightrope in the ninth but is able to finally close it out. And the Cardinal will play for the Pac-12 Tournament Championship tomorrow night against either Oregon State or UCLA. Mm-hmm. <laughs>